Okay, so let's work through exercise 12. You want to match the code over here to what screen is going to appear. So let me zoom in. Okay, so the key here is where this draw sprites block, this yellow draw sprites block shows up in the code. Because like I said previously, everything above it will get drawn. So for instance, this one right here, the only thing above draw sprites is the background, which is sky blue. So I believe that that goes here because this only has a sky blue background. Um, let's see. So this one has a dog or draw sprites is here above it is a dog and sky blue. However, there is no set animation block underneath the variable dog. So I think that's just going to draw a square. I'm going to try that square in the background, the blue background. So we only have two more options to work with. So this one, uh, let's, let's move on to this one. So this one, like before, the only thing above it is dog and background, but here we have it dog dot set animation and corgi so this set animation block will actually show us a dog so i think this block goes with this image right here okay and then this block draw sprites is at the bottom so it's going to draw all of this the light uh, sky blue background this variable which has been set to dog and corgi, and then this elk variable, which has been set to elk. So let's see if that's correct. That is the correct answer. Terrific. Right, I'm going to zoom back out so you can see. Adding text. You can put text anywhere you'd like on the screen using the text block. Do this. Change the displayed text in the provided code. Uh, okay, so this is the text they're talking about, this block. Change me and add another text block. Change me and add another text block. Okay. Uh, hello world. That's like the standard coding term that we use. Uh, add a second text. Let's reset that. Hello world. Add a second text block. Okay, so that's in the drawing drawer. So click that, find text. I believe this is it. Yeah. Okay. Add a second text block to write in a different part of the screen. Okay. So remember, this is the coordinates. So this is at 50x and 200y. So this one's already different. It's at 0x and 15y. Let's say hello again, world. All right, cool. We got that. Perfect. <laughs> debug. Okay. We all know that debug means fix problems with the code. This scene has all the right code, but it's not in the right order. The scene should look like the image to the right. Can you reorder the block so that each part of the scene is drawn on the correct order? Okay, so, all right, so this uh, reptile, okay, I am noticing that there are borders around each bar, black borders, and there's not in this image. Uh, wait, this is, this is all correct, so I guess I should have hit version history start over, yeah, okay, okay, so now look, it's all messed up. Greetings should be all the way up front. The snake should be behind the bars, I guess like he's in a cage. And I think that's it. So the bars, okay, so it goes pink background, snake, bars, greetings. So the pink background should be all the way at the top. Then, this, then comes the snake. So let's move the background to the top. Okay, background. All right, cool. 
Uh, the background is at the top. Then the snake should come. Hmm, the snake is behind the bars. Why? Not sure I get that. So all we're doing here is we're rearranging the order. Okay. Hmm, the bars. The bars should not be last because they are behind greetings. Okay, so greetings needs to be last because that's all the way on top. Hmm. How come that didn't work? Fill black. Let's fill black. Okay, so that got the letters back. Okay, so we need the snake to be further back. Okay, so I figured this out. The only sprite in here is the snake. The bars aren't sprites. Or are they? Maybe they are. But that is why greetings is all the way in the back. Is because we have draw sprite here. So let's put that there. See if that works. Okay, but we still need the snake to be behind the bars. So let's put draw sprites here. Okay, cool. All right, so I think this this works. Yeah, this is correct. So these bars are rectangle drawing blocks, okay? Each rectangle is the gray bar, okay? Those are not sprites. So the only sprite is the snake. And that's why we put draw sprites here is because we wanted the bars and greetings to be on top of the snake. Okay? It's all about the order. Sprite scenes. What kind of music do planets sing? Neptunes. By combining shapes, sprites, and text, you can create simple scenes, stories, or comics. While this example is very, fairly simple, you can combine as many sprites and shapes as you like to create scenes as complex or detailed as you like. Sketch it out. Before moving on, take a second to sketch out a scene that you'd like to make at the end of this lesson. Consider the simple shapes that you've used in the past, sprites for your characters, and any text that you'd like on the screen. Once you've sketched out an idea, you'll learn about text block and how to compose a scene. Okay, so maybe here you want to start thinking about what scene you would want to create. Because you're going to be animating. Create your scene. Drawing. You're going to start creating a scene of your own. If you haven't already, take a minute to sketch out a picture of your scene. Consider using graph paper. Once you have an idea and plan for your scene, start drawing the background. Do this. Use a background command to fill the screen with a color. Okay, so the background command is in the drawing uh, drawer. And let's choose drawing. I don't want a white background. That's boring. Let's do yellow. Hmm. Guess I'll have to type it in. Uh, what's going on with my... Okay, I was having some issues, so I had to hit the refresh or reload button. In Game Lab, which is what we're working with now, you might be running into errors in your page, and you might just have to refresh the page, okay? So always try that. Okay, great. I got a yellow background. Add any necessary shape commands to draw the non-sprite elements of your scene. Okay. So let's put uh, an ellipse in there. And we'll have a yellow sky with a red sun. So it's kind of freaky. Okay, we don't want it to be that large. So let's X, Y, width, height. Let's decrease the width and height. Let's make it 50 by 50. And it's going to be right in the center. And how do we make it colorful? I believe we do fill. And you want it to go above the ellipse. So I want to make it red. Cool. And I want no stroke. No stroke removes that black border. I don't want that. I think I have to put it there. Okay, that worked. Great. Uh, let's put it in the top left of the screen. So that looks like it's about 50-50. So I'm going to change the X and Y position to 50-50. Cool. 
You don't have to do a complex drawing, just something simple. But I do welcome some complex drawings. So let's move on. Exercise 17. Create your scene. Sprites. With your background in place, it's time to add your sprites. Do this. Add or create all of your sprite images in the animation tab. Okay. So we have a yellow sky with a red sun. Let's create an image. Uh, let's. We can use the kite. Okay. The kite that we already created. Now nah, let's work with this stuff. Okay. So. Hmm. We're going to be eating watermelon with an orange sunset. Perfect. Everyone loves watermelon. I'm just going to name it watermelon. Look at these complex names. You don't want a complex name. It makes it hard to remember and reference when you're actually coding. So I simplified it to watermelon. Okay, let's run it. Okay, so Create a variable for each sprite at the top of your program and use set animation. Keyword, top of your program. So you're going to be doing it up here. Okay. Use set animation to assign the images you created in the animation tab. So to create a variable for a sprite, we have to do, well, you can go to variables, but I, often you should go here and use this block. Okay, and we'll name this variable watermelon. And that will be right in the middle at 200, 200. And you have to use sprite set animation or else it's just going to be a box. And that, oh, we need the draw, the draw sprites. Hmm. Why isn't there a box? Well, anyway, let's draw it or set the animation and then we'll figure it out. So remember to name, name the sprite, the variable, the variable name, watermelon, and set animation to watermelon. And let's see if it doesn't show up. That means that the background is being drawn over it. Okay, so how can we fix this? There, okay. So draw sprites needed to be at the bottom so that the sprite was drawn over the background. Okay. All right. So there's the end of my scene. Create your scene text. The final piece of your scene is to add text. Do this add a text command for each separate line of text. If necessary, use fill and text size to change the appearance of your text. Hint, most scenes have the text on top of everything else, which would require text commands to be the last lines in your program. Right, okay, so I'm going to need to put them below draw sprites. If, however, you want the text layered in with other elements, you might consider changing the order. We are not going to consider that. Okay, let's add some text. All right, and I want it to be about right here. So let's say 200 and 200 x 50 y and I'm gonna say ain't nothing like watermelon with a red sunset all right everyone likes to eat watermelon in the summer so that's why I said that you know what that's not something you you end with a period so we're gonna change that to an exclamation mark okay so there's a problem this is too far over here. I'm going to click this so we can see this is too far over and we can't see the whole thing. So I'm going to change it from 200 X, which is right about here to let's say 120 X. Hopefully that'll change it and make it more visible. Ain't nothing like watermelon with a red sunset. Perfect. All right. This is beautiful. Well done.